one out of 10 uh, new patients that we see here at Caring Medical Regenerative Medicine Clinics have already received a type of stem cell uh, treatment by another clinic. And the reason why these treatments don't work is kind of related to the five myths that people believe. For instance, there's the myth that if they get one shot inside the knee or inside one of the facet joints in the spine, that somehow all of their pain is going to magically disappear. The truth of it is, is that it's actually instability that caused the cartilage cells to break down or caused the joint to break down. So what is needed is not a simple one shot uh, stem cell injection. What's needed is a comprehensive treatment that treats all the stabilizing ligamentous structures of the joint. The second most common myth that people believe is that they're only going to need one magical stem cell injection and all their pain is going to go away when in reality ligament tissue and other tissues of the body heal over time. Meaning that uh, you induce the ligaments and the joint to regenerate and that regenerative process occurs over a four to six week period and then you get another treatment. So what's really needed is a series of treatments and that's how you can permanently get the ligament strong and then that, that stops the destructive joint forces that actually led to the cartilage to actually get degenerated. The third reason why a one-shot stem cell treatment is not going to work is what I term inappropriate forces. Like people get very expensive stem cell treatments, $8,000, $10,000, $4,000. They get one or two shots and then the person is left to basically do whatever activities they want. Well, if the cartilage is destroyed, something destroyed it. Well, what destroyed it was the inappropriate forces on it. What caused the inappropriate forces was the shearing forces or rotational forces or what we call destructive joint forces from ligament laxity. So even when a person is treated with comprehensive prolotherapy, and we may use stem cells as the proliferant, uh, you have to adjust or make sure that the appropriate forces are on the joint, otherwise the ligament and the, the cartilage isn't going to regenerate. Because if too much force is on uh, the joint, obviously the uh, cartilage isn't going to regenerate. The fourth reason that a single stem cell treatment doesn't cure people or, or help long term is that often uh, what's injected in there is not live cells and the growth factors aren't even live. You know, when somebody gets PRP or dextrose prolotherapy or bone marrow or lipo aspirate injected into the ligaments, the tendons, the joint, those are live. It's live growth factors from the person's own body. When you take a placenta amniotic, those may have had growth factors or cells when it was first taken out, but once it gets processed and, and dried and all the various things that occur with it, there isn't anything that's live in it anymore. Uh, the last reason why people don't heal with one-shot uh, stem cell injections is that often when you have instability of a joint, and it's gone on for a long period of time, the surrounding joints are also unstable. So in other words, if this person, if a person had hip instability and the femur was moving too much, you would actually have to treat the femur or the, the hip joint along with the knee joint to actually stop or resolve the knee instability. Um, so these are some common reasons that we see. And when somebody has a, an injury of a joint, they, the best approach is going to be comprehensive prolotherapy of that joint, and if other joints are involved, then uh, appropriately treating that joint.